Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Um, Ethereum so far has not yet broken above the wave 4 resistance. Um, remember we talked in the previous video about the idea that Ethereum could be working here still on a fourth wave. I cannot rule that out as long as we are below 1976. However, because Bitcoin broke above its wave 4 resistance, it might very well be that Ethereum uh, is not in a wave 4 anymore. And I don't primarily follow the view that Ethereum is still in a wave 4. So I will move the wave 4 resistance over here. Just worth noting that as long as we are below 1976 and haven't broken and sustained above it, it is still technically possible and actually likely that Ethereum is still in a wave 4 and would result um, and would, would, would make another low here in the A wave in a fifth wave. But at the moment I count the A wave complete. Um, this would be, just to give a bit of context here, the A wave of a larger wave two. Looks like we're now in the B wave and could then come down in C. So we talked about it in the previous videos that any move to the upside that I would probably consider that first a wave four. Um, Afterwards, if we break above 1976, a B wave. However, due to Bitcoin's invalidation of the wave four, um, I'm treating this here mainly as a B wave. I already posted that earlier on Telegram and Discord. But again, this is just a micro count. Yeah, just a micro level. It's not good for everybody to trade these smaller waves. Um, but a lot of people want to know what's going on. Um, important to understand that Ethereum did reach our trend reversal area, reacted to the 38.2 FIB level and is reversing. Um, if we now are in a B wave, I don't really want Ethereum necessarily to break above 2067. You need to understand how to treat a B wave. If this really is a B wave now, which would then eventually result in a C wave down, then this would be this, this would consist of an ABC structure. Yeah, the B wave would consist of an ABC structure. It's um, lower degree price action, not crystal clear to me. Um, so far only three waves up. Yeah, this could be an A, B, C, which is playing out, but the C wave could still have a bit of room to go. Um, this is um, one valid interpretation and very, you know, as long as we stay below 2067, certainly my primary, and then I would look at another wave down in a C wave. However, um, looking at Bitcoin's price action and the price action of some altcoins, it's of course also possible that we bottomed in all of wave two. Yeah, it's possible. It's not my primary, but it's possible we need to consider that. Um, and if we zoom out a little bit, that would indicate that we had a one, two and another one, two setup, a shallow one, and we would then rally in a third wave to 2,400 plus in the coming weeks. But let me say that again, it's at the moment not my primary but it's an option we consider, right? At the moment on this channel, we are still overall bullish. Yeah, don't don't um, forget about this. What I'm showing you here primarily are bullish setups. The reason for that is that it makes sense, in my opinion, to focus on the upside still, generally, while in the short term, there's a bit of a correction going on here that could still go deeper eventually. But overall, the trend, in my opinion, is still up. I will change my view below 1533 on the ETH chart. And I think Bitcoin is below 22K. Um, but for now, the, the trend is up, right? And if we really are in an overall third wave, yeah, because if we look at this wave one up, wave two down, and then third wave here to the upside, if we really are in a third wave, pullbacks may be shallow. And it's not the first time that I said that. Um, but um, yeah, I, I really need to see a sustained break of 2067 to believe that we have bottomed already in all of wave two. Um, I currently look at that we are at least in a B wave. That That's my view, at least in a B wave, if not in something more bullish. But I don't have the evidence to say it's something more bullish. If it is something more bullish, then in the first step, I need to see a sustained break above 2067. Even above that, I said just, just before, you need to know how to treat a B wave. A B wave, even though this red box here is the standard resistance for a B wave, B waves can overshoot, unfortunately. 
you always have to have that on the radar and in crypto and that's that makes this market so difficult we have a lot of overshooting b waves so that's the situation we're dealing with here so for now it's all going according to plan here b wave to the upside yeah that's part of the roadmap um, that could overshoot the, the resistance a little bit it's not like you know it must not go above 2067 there isn't really an invalidation for a b wave um, until we go way above the wave one high unfortunately but it, we then need to have a look at the structure if it's very corrective it's probably a b wave it's actually impulse if it's impulsive it could really be the third wave of the third wave rally that um, could finally be playing out okay so overall don't you know don't forget on this channel we're still bullish um, obviously we're going with the chart where right? we're tracking the charts movement identifying what um, the trend is doing at the moment what's the price doing is the price acting more bullishly or is it acting more bearishly instead of trying to um, put our bias onto the chart okay so it's it's always important in these markets to change your view with the context because it, the context is rapidly changing um, what many people don't understand and i see it time and time again on days like these where we have a little bit of movement we, had, we didn't even have too much movement in crypto but we have a little bit of movement um, a lot of people get frustrated because they're looking for certainties in these markets. I did explain that a little bit in previous Bitcoin videos. Now there is no certainty. Yeah, there is no certainty. There's also no crystal ball, even though I know many YouTubers try to make you believe there is, trying to put themselves out there as experts that could, who can predict the future. No, while Elliott Wave has predictive powers, and if you can apply it correctly, it can sometimes really like magic predict prices for you and roadmaps but it doesn't it still doesn't tell you the future what you need to use technical analysis for it's not to predict the future maybe there's an element there yeah to predict basically targets and so on because you know e ew elliot wave with the power of mathematics it, it has predictive powers but the primary task of a technical analysis is to track the chart to put some structure around and complete mess which is out there to make it understandable and and that's the most important aspect to make you understand where your risk sits in any situation to make you understand where is a low risk high reward setup that can be traded it's about the production of trade setups yeah the output of the analysis is a trade setup that's the output yeah it's like a factory just know that we're not producing cars or whatever, we're producing trade setups. We identify those. And it's not about telling you, because there are sometimes questions, you know, will the price at the end of the day be 30K? I mean, how do I know? Nobody knows. And it's best that you understand that nobody will be able to tell you. And if people tell you, it's a pure guess, okay? Um, understanding that will save you from a lot of mistakes in the markets because it forces you to consider different scenarios and it forces you to consider risk management which a lot of people who are looking for certainties don't consider and that will make you uh, do well in these markets not being over positioned yeah uh, identifying low risk high reward setups yeah not trying to trade by probabilities because trading by probabilities doesn't work it's not like that one count has a 40 percent probability the other one 60 you trade the 60 and you know do you really want to bet all your bank account for a 60 percent versus 40 percent probability probably not so it's all about identifying that high reward low risk okay and um, not trading necessarily probabilities so yeah and that's uh, hopefully that helps hope you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye